Hello friends, welcome to Thursday. I'm excited for this one, I really am. Um, I've been looking forward to these ever since I got them in. So, as you can tell, I'm going to make these little candle holder things today. I would say succulent holders, but I still don't think that these are big enough for succulents. But I guess we'll see. Um, I'm a little nervous about them. Just because, I don't know, they're a little flimsy. These are not um, Let's Resin. And Let's Resin makes, like, the best molds. But, um, I don't know. I guess we'll see. And... <clears throat> Please don't be mad at me. I want to use the chameleon powder again, but this time I'm going to mix it into the resin and see, you know, if it still gives that really great shine or if it does anything different. I don't know. I want to try it, so I'm going to try it. Um, so I've got my Total Boat resin heating up now, and um, actually I found that I don't really need to heat that up nearly as much Um as the Dr. Crafty, which is great. So I can actually go ahead and probably pull that now. And we will mix that up, get it in the molds, and then be back for the unmolding. So stick around, stay tuned. I hope you enjoy. Hey guys, this is a general reminder to please hit that like button. And if you're new here, please hit the subscribe button and ring that bell so you can be notified anytime I upload a video. Thanks so much. All right, friends, these are cured. I'm going to be honest with you. I have some concerns already. 
Um, after I poured it, I took one of these little like micro brush things and went around the sides because I could see that there were bubbles. And so I tried for, I don't know, 30 minutes to get all of the bubbles out. But as you can see, there are still micro bubbles in there. So, uh, we shall see how bad it looks. <laughs> I can still see that there were micro bubbles despite my fighting for 30 minutes. Um, I do have an idea of how to fix that in the future, but that will be for a future video. Let's just see how bad it is now. Also, I was kind of shocked that this, uh, with the chameleon powder, that this looks really, really brown, IRL. But, let's just see what we got here. I did make some bookmarks with leftover resin, too. Ugh. And this... Okay, Megan, use those muscles that you clearly don't have. I mean, at least it's nice and stretchy. Okay, we're getting there. Woo! <laughs> Looks like a jellyfish. Okay. Let me fix my mold. There we go. Nope, that's still not fixed. <laughs> How does this go? Oh my god. What am I doing wrong? Okay, there we go. Fixed it. <laughs> anyway, let's see. My camera would focus. That'd be great. It's very pretty. You know? I actually think that the micro bubbles might have been small enough that it didn't really make a visual impact. You know what I mean? Like I'm not even really feeling them, which is great. I do need to sand the bottom down a little bit. But yeah, this is this is really pretty. And I don't even mind that it's partially brown. Okay, let's try this one. See, I've even got some resin around the around the bottoms from me squidgy widgeying as Steve McDonald would say. Okay. I'm feeling this one's going to be a little bit harder to get off than the last one. And I know that some people use like warm soapy water to help get their um, molds out that are like this but I'm one of those people that will forget to dry out the water before I put resin in it so I'm just gonna struggle instead of ruining a piece because I forgot there was water in it you know what I mean this one. I always make sure that my molds are back into their original shape before moving on because I don't want them to get like um, stuck in that shape or misshapen in some way. So here's the second one. Very pretty. And yeah, I'm, I think I was too worried about bubbles that really weren't an issue because they're very much not really visible. You can't really feel them. Yeah. This is beautiful. And again, I do need to sand the bottoms. But I think these will make perfect little candle holders because they are um, somewhat see-through. I mean, you could see through them. So the candle light will, will bounce out of these really, really well. These are very pretty. I'm very excited about these. What do you guys think? I like these molds. They're very nice. Um... 
As always, I'll have anything that I use in the video listed in the description box. Any Amazon link is an affiliate link, of course. But yeah, these turned out great. Well, that's kind of pretty. Um, these turned out great. I'm really, really happy with the results of these. Yeah, that's today. Oh, let me give you a bonus. <clears throat> Unmolding. I made some bookmarks with leftovers. I also made some feather bookmarks. I'll, I'll leave a picture of that uh, at the end for the glamour shots. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Um, if you enjoyed this video, let me know by hitting the thumbs up button. And if you like this kind of content, stick around by clicking the red subscribe button and ringing the bell for notifications. Stick around for those glamour shots. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I hope that you have a fantastic day. Take care.